Welcome, I'm Hunter. And I'm Brendan. So today we're testing your mind skills to see if you can figure out this question, truth or fiction? Okay, welcome Evan to a segment we're going to call Fact or Fiction. It's where we present two facts and not two facts. Well, one of them is a fact, the other is fake, and you have to guess which one is the actual real fact. So, um, number one, dogs can smell cancer or bulls hate the color red. Which is true? Bulls hate the color red. That's actually the fake fact. Dogs can smell cancer, but bulls don't actually hate the color red. Horses can't vomit, or the last words of 13% of American males is, hey, watch this. Which one is true? The second one. There's no, there's no statistic that says the last word of 13% of American males is, hey, watch this, but horses can't actually vomit. Lions share 70% of their DNA with butterflies, or Leonardo da Vinci invented scissors. Which one's true? I'm going to guess the scissors. The scissors one is true. Leonardo da Vinci did actually invent scissors. Number one, gray whales, the oldest, one of the oldest mammal species, can be gay, or the original actor for Barney was a sniper in the Vietnam War. Which one's true? Mm. I'm going to go with Barney. Yeah, Barney was not a sniper in the Vietnam War. <laughs> Hippos kill the most people in Africa compared to any other animal, or Nicolas Cage was going to be the original actor for Morpheus. Which one's true? Uh, probably Nicolas Cage. I don't know. No, the hippos actually kill the most people in Africa compared to any other animal. Okay. Number one, pessimism can be inherited genetically. Or two, the Beatles wrote the original version of All Star but didn't release it. One, I think. One's true? You think one's true? Yeah. Yeah, one's actually true. Pessimism can be inherited genetically. Okay, this has been Factor Fiction with Sora Christensen. Thanks for watching. Signing off. That was interesting. Now we're going to check in about the mascot here at CB. So I'm here with Nick. I heard you seen the mascot. Where have you seen it at? Uh, last time I saw it, it was uh, walking like into the woods. Down there? Yeah. Somewhere over there? Yeah. So Nick said he's seen the mascot in this general area. Wait, is that it right there? Hey! John Fuller? I would have gotten away with two or four of you meddling kids. Well, we thought we had the real one, but I guess we just got an imposter. I think he's okay. Interesting learning about the mascot. The next part you've probably seen before is Kyle's magic. What's up everybody? My name is Kyle Yim and I am a magician. But today I'm not going to be doing a magic trick. Today I'm going to be playing the knife game. It goes like this. I have all my fingers, the knife goes chop 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 If I miss the spaces in between my fingers will come off And if I hit my finger, the blood will soon come out But all the same I play this game cause that's what it's all about Ooh, chop 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 I'm picking up the speed And if I hit my finger then my hand will start to bleed Now we're gonna go up to random people and I'm gonna be playing the knife game on them Let's go Alright Casey, do you trust me? Sure Yeah Go not really. Not at all. Let's all do right, this. Let's do this. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. I have all my fingers. Knife goes chop, chop, chop. If I miss the spaces in between, my fingers will come off. And if I hit my finger, blood will soon come out. But all the same, I play this game, because that's what's all about. Oh, chop, 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 chop. I'm picking up the seat. And if I hit my finger, then my hand will start to bleed. Whoa. Ugh. Dang. Next, we got The Adventures of a Cat and The Worst Show in Human History. Well, that's pretty much the subject. Quick history.
and welcome to Quick History. History presented in a digestible way. We don't have much time, so let's get to it. To sum it up, after World War II, Europe is in a huge mess, and they're like, let's not have war anymore. So they don't have war. But then many years later, on November 1st, 1993, they're like, let's have an economic friendship, so we'll definitely not have any war. So that's what they do, and they create the EU. And they all start using the same type of money, the Euro, but then, in 2016, Britain's like, I'm gonna do Brexit, and that happens. And you just watched Quick History and got knowledgeed. Recently, Chance Lemo competed in a prestigious wrestling tournament, and our very own Luke Escanar caught up with the man himself. Welcome back Raiders. Today I'm joined by Chance Lemo, who recently went to the Freak Show and Nationals Tournament in Las Vegas. Chance, what was your number one struggle here at the tournament? Um, probably having to deal with like Las Vegas is annoying. <laughs> Why was it annoying? Because there was like lines for like everything and yeah, there was, it was, there was too many people. It was annoying. <laughs> do you ever get intimidated by how many people are there? Or do you ever get nervous? Um, I, was, I wasn't that nervous, no. I was just wanted to go out and like have fun and it was fun. Chance, how did it feel getting all the way to the finals and winning it? It was pretty awesome because like I had to wrestle hard and some tough kids and it was just like fun being able to beat them because like it like made me feel like I've improved a lot and so it was it was a good confidence booster. This summer you went to many other national tournaments including going places in Croatia. How did it feel finally getting the win? Um, it was pretty awesome. I mean, it's been my first tournament back since Worlds, and it was just nice to get a win. All right, thank you very much, Chance, and congratulations. Finally, we're going to finish off this episode with this week's Sports Report. Welcome to Sports Report. I'm Marcos Espetia. And I'm Jesse Ferlander. The Raiders fought hard during their last week of fall sports. Crescent Valley Cross Country finished their season well with both girls and boys taking first at their meet on Wednesday. Watch out for the Raiders cross country at State. On Friday, the full team beat McKay 20-0 in a fantastic end to the season. The student section was full of some fun and costumes for the Halloween theme. Unfortunately, boys soccer lost their last home game 2-3 against North Salem on Tuesday. Girls soccer finished their season strong, crushing North Salem 6-0 on Tuesday. Great job, girls! Volleyball lost three sets to one against Lebanon on Tuesday, but fought very hard. Crescent Valley had a great last week of fall sports. See you at the end of November for updates on basketball, swimming, and wrestling. Go Raiders! That's it for this week's episode. Don't forget to go follow us on Instagram at RaidersCVTV and go subscribe to our YouTube channel. CVTV, Raider the Nation News. Thanks for watching Raider Nation, see you next week and happy Halloween.